You guys already know this video is going to be lit because I, Ema, welcome to the channel and welcome to the family. So today for you guys, I'm going to be bringing you guys the video that I have been really, really been waiting for to bring out. I, I've been so excited about this video. Today, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is going to be going head to head with the beast, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Well, everyone says the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the beast of cameras right now, but... With the 200 and make the 200 megapixel camera on the i on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the might it might have a standing chance. So in this video, we're gonna test out the camera. We're gonna test out the rear camera. We're gonna test out the front camera for pictures, and we're also gonna test out the cameras as well on the back for pic for pictures and of course videos as well. Same at the front as well. So without further ado, let's get straight right into it. So I'm just gonna start with this giraffe here that I have. I have two giraffes here. One of them look like they're from Dubai and one of them looks like a kid's literally made it in 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 in, in nursery school. So let's get straight right into it. Just snap. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Straight away I'm already noticing. Straight away I'm already noticing that there's a lot of more there's a lot more depth of field on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I mean the background is a lot more blurrier than the uh, than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra as you can see there there's a lot more blur on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and then going into just zooming in, in zooming in a little bit more into the details of the giraffe um unfortunately there's there's um <laughs> <laughs> the photo speaks for itself. The photo speaks for itself. There's a lot more details on the iPhone 14 Pro Max than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. There's literally no details in the S23 Ultra at all, man. Nothing. And then the as then then the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the color looks literally exactly the same. Like it's so true to true to color, which is really amazing. Even zooming into the flicky, flipping face of this giraffe there is no details that's been held by the i by the s23 ultra <laughs> at all no details in there at all let me zoom L look but look at that look at that there is no details at all coming from that i from that s23 ultra at all no details whatsoever so well, the iPhone right now is winning. Don't forget, we still got more tests to do with the with the um, with the video as well. All right, let me just give the S twenty three Ultra another chance and take exactly the same picture and see if it normalizes it, normalizes itself and takes the picture properly. And again, round two. The picture is still processing. There we go. It's done. Okay, okay, okay. Round two. It looks like there's more details now. There's more details on the S23 Ultra, definitely. There's more details on the S23 Ultra, as you can see there. There is detail in the S23 Ultra. But my only concern is that because the S23 Ultra, obviously the camera on this phone um, has a lot of contrast, a lot of bright brightening um, going on in there as well. It kind of, I mean, there's details in there, and then the the fact that the phone camera lens is a lot more brighter helps as well to see more of that detail in there as well. Whereas the iPhone 14 Pro Max, there's there isn't a lot of brightness going on in there, so you can't really they 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 the sharpness there the detail doesn't really pop as much as the as the s23 ultra so there is details but the details is quite brighter on the iphone 4 on the s23 ultra than the iphone 14 or than the iphone 14 pro max but then looking at the faces as well of the giraffe as you can see as you can see there the iphone 14 pro preserves a lot more details in the face than the i than the s23 ultra so what i have no what i've noticed here is that there's a lot of details but the camera on the s23 ultra kind of puts a lot of details in the middle parts of the 
of the camera and then around the edges of the front and the, the top of the bottom the details kind of just starts to fade away for example look at this picture so the small giraffe is is the iphone is is really uh, it has a lot of details on the small giraffe the whole of the giraffe is in focus and it's very very nice whereas the s23 ultra the middle of the small giraffe is in focus and sharp but then the head of it is not really in focus or sharp at all so it's kind of a weird one very very weird anyway that was the normal wide angle lens now we're gonna go to two times zoom and see what that is saying let's see if the iphone brings out the s23 ultra brings out a little bit more detail with the 2x zoom right okay so the s21 ultra the s23 ultra is processing one thing i don't like about the s23 ultra it, it takes a lot of time to process the, the pictures that you take whereas the iphone just processes it almost instantly so the phone the s23 ultra does this loading thing when obviously it's taking the picture it does this, this loading thing to like process the picture but i think the iphone wins there because obviously the a16 bionic chip in this phone is just so quick and amazing and then zooming in with the 2x zoom zooming in with 2x zoom oh my goodness they flew they the i they f the, the s23 ultra is literally falling apart i mean don't get it wrong the iphone 14 pro is is doing good the detail is still there but not as sharp as it was when we were using one um one x zoom but that s23 ultra is literally just starting to lose the details right let's step it up a notch and let's do three times zoom so let's try three times zoom and see if the s23 ultra makes a comeback as you can see it's processing there we go let's see oh my goodness yeah 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 nah it's not looking good bro it's not looking good bro look the s23 ultra the detail is pretty much non-existent but the F iphone 14 pro max is still going man there's a lot of detail in there i mean not as crisp and sharp as as how it would have been using the normal without zooming in but it's de it definitely the the detail on the s23 ultra is non-existent as you can see there anyways that's that now i'm going to take a picture of my face using just the one time um zoom and see what kind of details we get over there right smile for the camera three two one yes boom 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 right let's see what we have here oh my god oh my god look okay 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 um what do we have here what do we have what do we have um it's very close you know it's very close i mean there's a lot of details on both a lot of details i mean the the iphone is a lot more darker the con there's a lot more contrast in the iphone but with the s23 ultra it's a lot more you know brighter you know you can see everything a lot more brighter which is really nice but i mean for the most part i can see all my beard hairs and my mustache hairs to be honest with you zooming in into the iphone 14 pro max it has a lot more details in there a lot more sharpness in there even looking at the eyebrows and the mustache there as you can see there's a lot more details on the iphone 14 pro max than the um, than the s23 ultra there's just a lot more details you can see the grains of hair on my mustache and on my eyebrows to be honest with you zooming in is if when if when you zoom in on these two phones the iphone 14 pro max there's a lot more details definitely 100 percent a lot more detail there's all there's something definitely going on with the skin tone on the s23 ultra to make you look a little bit more nicer on the camera but there's a lot more details inside of the iphone 14 pro max which is really amazing so even for example you can actually you can actually zoom into these into the iphone 14 pro max and put and and you can crop 
you can crop in with the iPhone 14 Pro Max without losing any detail or quality at all. But with the S23 Ultra, you will be definitely be losing a bit of detail and quality from there, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Anyways, right, so that's done. Right, and um, what else should I take a picture of? Let's take a picture of... Oh my God, the missus is gonna kill me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your giraffe, the, the, the luxury giraffe that looks like it came from Dubai, I've just knocked the table over and it's fallen down and the whole thing is shattered. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. I'm going to be killed today. She's going to kill me. Look at that. I mean, he makes a good picture, but I'm in big trouble. I am in big trouble. Okay. Yes, I'm in big trouble. Okay, you know what? You know what? From that far, look at that. There's details, but obviously the S23 Ultra, there's a lot more light inside of that detail, which is really, really nice. That's pretty cool. Right, let's try out the front facing camera and see how that looks. So, three, two, one, boom. Okay. Right. Um, looks good, looks good. I'm going to try that once one more time because I don't think the S23, the iPhone actually focused properly. Okay, so I think the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra takes the crown for um, the front megapixel, the selfie camera. There's a lot more details in that um on the s23 ultra than the iphone 14 pro max as you can see there but they're not both they're not bad they're not bad pictures at all right so we're in video mode now on both devices right so let's start with the front of the camera and see right okay so guys i am on the galaxy s23 ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I am using the front facing camera at the moment to film myself, as you can see. Let's see what it's like with the tracking. It's all good. Um, I don't know, you guys can be the judge of which camera looks better. The iPhone 14 Pro Max looks a lot more better, a lot more details in the shot there with the video, and it looks good. Okay, so now we're using the rear camera on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and this is what we are looking like here. So, right, so the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I have no idea how it's doing. The S23 Ultra, I have no idea how it's doing, but this is what we look like. So yeah, tell me guys, tell me what you think and what it's saying. This is what we look like. Well, guys, that's been the video on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra comparing the camera. The iPhone 14 Pro camera is way better than the S23 Ultra. So if you want to pick yourself up one of these phones and wanting to pick it up judging by what the camera quality looks like, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the one to get. Samsung just keeps adding megapixels to their phones, but not really thinking about what those megapixel count should mean or should do so yeah i'm still not i'm still not a big fan of any of the samsung's big megapixel count like the s21 ultra and the s22 ultra they had the 108 megapixel camera on there wasn't really a fan of it at all and again this big megapixel 200 megapixel camera not really a fan of it iPhone wins all day long for me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe. Tell me down below and comment down comment down below and tell me which camera you think is the best the iPhones or the Samsung Galaxy S23 and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.